Good morning, everybody, and welcome to BFIT Live. The Exchange's BFIT Ambassador, Roy Montez, is here along with Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry, and they are here to give you some Monday motivation, get going. So I hope you are ready to put in some work with them. Roy, how are you guys doing? Sergeant Berry? Hi, Leah. Thank you, Leah. Good to see you again. Welcome back, first off. Thank you. Sergeant Barry, how are you doing? Hi, good morning. I'm good. Thanks. Good, good. Leah, I hope everyone's ready to go. We have a fun workout, a great workout today, again, to test us, to start off our Mondays, to start off our week nice and strong, nice and healthy, to think about ourselves. Again, this is a time to focus on you, to highlight yourselves, and to work on your health and your wellness by moving and motivating with us. So um, we have a few workouts today that are going to challenge both lower body and your upper body core stabilization and your cardiovascular. So a few of my favorites that we're going to hit today, we will go through the air squat with a calf raise as our first exercise. Our second exercise will be a pike push-up. Again, this is going to be building off of last week and the week prior where we hold a high plank into a pike position and we'll add in a push-up or a push press to that pike. Uh, our third set will be a Bulgarian squat. And uh, again, these are this, this movement here should be a, a movement that we can show a regression, but if you've mastered and if you have your form uh, correct, and solid, a good solid foundation, moving into a Bulgarian squat to work on single leg to take movement, uh, take weight off of a single leg and push it forward into one leg once, you, once you'll see a, a demonstration. Uh, that's a good progression to a split squat or a split lunge rather. And then the fourth exercise is, go exercise is gonna be a side plank uh, with an oblique twist. And we'll also go through a few variations of a plank here. So for our fourth, round, we will do a high plank, and then I myself will roll into side planks uh, with added oblique twists, and we'll roll through that. So we're going to be working 40 seconds on today and 20 seconds on. Again, 40 seconds on, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, and that allows us to not focus so much on reps, but to focus on the time that we have to work, as well as focusing on our form, focusing on the, the muscle groups that we're working, we're isolating and, and to focus on what we need to take care of for that 40 seconds of work. So just like every workout, we are gonna start with a dynamic stretching routine. And so this will allow our bodies to get primed, to allow us to get in the right mindset, get in the right frame of, of mind and to get some blood flow moving and pushing through our muscle groups. So Sergeant Barry, are we ready to go with some dynamic stretching? Let's, yeah, I'm ready. Let's do this. <laughs> all right, all right, let's go. So we'll start with some high knee tucks here. So we'll clasp our hands together and we'll reach to our left knee and we'll bring it close to our chest. Nice solid squeeze here. And we're gonna feel the stretch in our <clears throat> psoas region, which will be in your hips. And we'll alternate left and right. Nice solid squeeze here. You can feel the squeeze within your biceps. You'll feel that stretch within your glutes. A little bit of your hamstrings here. And your hip flexors, all right here. Let's get our body ready to work today. This morning, I hope you all had a great weekend. <clears throat> and it's time to kick it up and start the week off strong. Make some time for yourselves. Let's go with hip mobility now, Sergeant Barry. So we'll do Inside to outside rotations, alternating left leg and right leg. Let's look to <clears throat> loosen up our, our hips here, really opening them up, getting them ready to squat with some air squats and Bulgarian squats here. Some nice wide circles, looking to warm up the body. And from outside to inside, let's switch.
from side to inside. All right, we'll go into inchworms now, Sergeant Barry. So we're gonna be working with some high planks positions here. So we'll go down, stretch all the way down to the ground. If you can, let's walk it out through our hands into a high plank briefly, hold one second, and then walk right back up. We'll do five of these here. There we go, nice and slow, nice and controlled, walking it out here. You should feel the stretch as you go down in your hamstrings. Your back will stretch out here, getting your core warmed up. Stability is what you're gonna be asking from your body today. So it's getting nice and warmed up. I have one more to go here, out into a high plank. Walking back to my legs here. All right, one of my personal favorites, Sergeant Barry, we're gonna go down into a squat. Then hinge at the hips here, hands underneath your toes, squats down, chest forward, head in a neutral position and extend all the way back up here. We'll do a few of these here. Let's do eight to 10 reps. Really looking to open up our hips here, focusing on that bottom position and really focusing on opening up our hips. All right, let's shake that out. We're gonna go into some high knees. So let's go into high knees. There we go. Followed by some butt kicks here. Let's get our heart rate up and elevated just a little bit. And then we'll finish it off with some jumping jacks to involve our shoulders here because they are going to get a workout as well today. Three, two, one, time, all right. All right, I hope we are all nice and warm here. All right, now's a great time to get some water, towel off if you need. I'll go through the exercises once again and prep my timer here. <clears throat> all right, air squats to calf raise will look like a Squat here, hinge at the hips down. And when you explode up, you're going to roll on to the balls of your feet, really contracting your calf here, okay? It's gonna be exercise number one, down into an air squat here, chest is forward, head in neutral position, and you're going to extend up. Exercise number two, high plank here, roll up into a peak or a pike rather, and you are going to simulate a shoulder press down into the floor, pushing up through the palms and isolating your shoulder press while keeping your core engaged. Bulgarian squat, Sergeant Barry and I have a chair, an ottoman, a stool of some sort. We're going to put one foot back on our chair, ottoman, anything that you have lying around your house and we are gonna squat down into a split lunge stance here, Bulgarian squat. And then side plank to oblique twist, down into a side plank position, hands up. Let's rotate over all the way through and extending back up. Okay, those are the four, let's get started. Sergeant Barry in 10 seconds, air squat to calf raise. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Let's focus on time in two, one, air squat to calf raise, let's go. Again, we want to hinge at the hips, squat down to your comfortable. 
wherever your position is comfortable for you. Nice and controlled here. And then explode up and roll up to the balls of your feet. Feeling that contraction and involvement of your calf here. 15 more seconds. Nice and smooth here. 10 more seconds here. Four, three, and time. Again, we're working 40 seconds on and 20 seconds off. So we have 20 seconds of rest here and we are going to roll into our pike push-up. All right, Sergeant Barry, five seconds here. I'm gonna prep down into a high plank position, hands and feet are shoulder width apart and let's work. Up, up into a pike position here. We're going to lower our head down into the floor and raise up through our shoulders here. Okay, you wanna make sure that your butt is in the air here. Your hands are shoulder width apart. Nice and slow here, nice and controlled. We have nine more seconds of work here. There we go, good job. Good job, three, two, and time. Good work, good work, Sergeant Barry. All right, you feel the isolation there in your shoulders? Core stability. Oh, yeah. All right, good stuff, okay. Five more seconds, we'll go into Bulgarian squats. 20 seconds with our left leg and 20 seconds with your right. And let's work here. We wanna make sure that we lower at the hips here. Make sure to hinge at the knees. Your knees should be tracking over your toes. One more rep and switch. Right leg down, left leg up for me. We'll squat down into that chair, absorbing most of our weight here on our front quad. Three, two, one, and time. Good work, good work. Okay, exercise number four, we're gonna go into a high plank for 40 seconds here. High plank for 40 seconds in five. Two, one, and let's work here. Hands are shoulder width apart, feet are close together here, wherever your comfort level may be, your neck, your spine, all the way to your tailbone, down to your ankles should be in a relatively straight line here. Okay, keep your core nice and engaged, nice and tight, contract those abs, bring your navel into your glutes, Squeeze those glutes and keep pushing for eight more seconds here. All right, five, two, one. All right, time. Okay. That's one round. We have three more to go and we've earned one minute of rest here. <clears throat> Again, these are workouts that can be done indoor like Sergeant Barry or someplace nice and safe and outdoors like myself. We don't need a lot of space. Uh, right now, we are currently working with our own body weight. So I'm working in the confines of six to seven feet here. And <laughs> again, what my body weight is, is what I'm lifting for today. We're focusing on form rather than the weight. And we're focusing on our time of 40 seconds of work rather than chasing a rep for today. So. Hey, Roy, I just want to let you know that sometimes your video maybe cuts out a little bit. I'm not sure if you're also seeing that Sergeant Barry, but it looks like, um, there was once where your video stopped. So I just, I, I don't know if you, Copy that. if you have, if you want to make any adjustments or, I mean, I can see you now and I think we're okay, but I just okay. want you to know. Okay. Good to know. I, I received a phone call. I thought it was work. No worries. <laughs> We're good to go. Okay, we should be into air squats, into calf raises here. 
hinge at the hips here, down into a seated position, exploding up and up into your calf raises. Five more seconds of work here. And time for calf, air squats to calf raises. Okay, second up, pike to push press in 10. Grab some water, grab a towel, wipe down. Let's keep going here, five more seconds. Get into my pike to push up here. And let's work. All right. Into a pike here. Hands shoulder width apart. Feet are relatively shoulder width apart here. Down, heads down into the ground. Focusing on pushing up through your palms here and out through your shoulders. This is where we're gonna stimulate a shoulder press. If you don't have any dumbbells or weighted resistance around, this is a great alternative to introduce your body weight. Put some load on those shoulders, pressing up through the ground and building some strength in those shoulders. Okay. Ten more seconds of work here. Two, one, and time. Okay. All right, let's go into Bulgarian squats here. I'm a little bit behind on my time here, Sergeant Barry, so we're gonna catch up with some Bulgarian squats. There we go. Let's go ahead and switch legs. Show some love to the opposite leg here. Two. And time, there we go. We're gonna shorten up that sequence there because we're into our rest period and then Sergeant Barry, you'll go into a high plank and myself, I'll go into a side plank with an oblique twist. Coming up in three, two, one. Here we go. All right, I'm in a side plank here. I'm reaching up for the sky, rotating through, threading the needle through my body and extending all the way back up here. Okay, keep your core nice and tight, nice and engaged. Glutes are gonna be nice and tight. Again, you want that straight line from your neck down to your waist, down to your ankles. Three, two, one, and time. All right, one minute of rest here. So again, a great, uh, a great alternative to if you are pressed for time and if you really want to elevate your heart rate up, limited your rest here. So I know we're taking 20 seconds of rest in between reps or in between sets rather. And then we are taking one minute in between each round, which we're gonna start our third round coming up in 30 seconds. A great way to challenge yourself even more is to limit the amount of rest. Just push through, limit instead of 20 seconds, maybe it's 10 or 15, and maybe one instead of one minute in between each round, you're gonna cut it down to 30 seconds, 45 seconds to challenge yourself that much more. Okay, five more seconds and we'll go air squat to calf raises here. Three, two, all right, let's work here. Squat down into a calf raise. This is a two for one here. We've done, we've done air squats before. We've done air squats into a leg raise. Today, air squat into a calf raise. Really focusing on that top portion where you're extending all the way out and pressing up through your feet, the balls of your feet and up to your calves. All the while keeping stable and including that air squat here. Two, one, and time, 20 seconds of rest here. And we'll go into our favorite, which is a pike push-up. 
I'm gonna grab some water. Leah, is the connection still good? You're um, you're okay. You're a little bit fuzzy, or a little bit blurry, okay. maybe. But we can see you. We can hear you really well. Okay. We do have a question, uh, Roy, from yes, someone named John. He's asking, are these Bulgarian squats okay for the knees? Just curious. Never done them before. Squats, yes, but Bulgarian squats, no. Sure thing. I'm working pike push-ups right now for 13 seconds, Sergeant Barry. Mm -hmm. So for the Bulgarian squat, I would suggest to maybe, if it's your first time, focus on a split lunge. And if your knees are taking a lot of pain, we're resting for 20 seconds here. If your knees are taking up a lot of the pain, um, you don't want to maybe jump into a Bulgarian squat right here where it absorbs a lot more of your body weight. So I would start with a split lunge. If uh, that's the case, John, and if you need any more assistance, go ahead and start off with some assistance here. Grab it onto a chair or a wall and work on strengthening up those quads and glutes. And then we'll jump into these Bulgarian squats right now, John, for 40 <laughs> seconds here. <laughs> All right. And uh, see, we're really absorbing through our glutes, through our quads here, is absorbing a lot of the weight both down and contracting all the way up here. So this is a, a, an alternative to maybe a leg extension where you wanna work your quad and your glutes here. Three, two, one. So again, uh, feel free and try, John. Uh, if you do need any help or assistance, look to a split lunge first and then build from there. All right, side plank with oblique twist is up next. And a high plank for Sergeant Barry. She will demonstrate the side, the high plank variation. I'll go into a side plank here. Last round, I did a left side. So this round, of course, we need to hit the right. We wanna make sure that our core is nice and tight. Our glutes are tight as well, bringing that navel in back to our, to our glutes here. Hand all the way up, reaching all the way through and all the way nice and tall here. Five more seconds here and you'll feel that work in your oblique and core. Two, one, and time. All right, one minute rest here. I'm gonna grab some water. I will say what's great about working out outside in the element is <laughs> it's a little hotter than indoors. So <laughs> I am breaking a sweat. So <laughs> 30 more seconds here and we'll go into our last and final round. And if you guys are just joining us, this is Beef It Live. We are here every Monday at 11 a.m. Central Time for a live workout with BFIT Ambassador Roy Montez and Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. I have, I have added the workout to the comments. So if you guys are looking to see what the movements are, what the workout is, that's there in the comments for you. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much, Leah. And again, if you're just joining us, I'm joined by Sergeant Barry and we are working 40 seconds on, 40 seconds of work and 20 seconds of rest. We are on our last round here and first set, which is an air squat to calf raise here. Air squat to calf raise. Ten more seconds. Sit down in that seat to your comfort level. Explode up through the balls of your feet and extending all the way through your calves here. And 20 seconds of rest. Pike push up in 10 seconds here. Pike push up in 10 seconds. And 40 seconds of work. Here we go. I'm going to go into a high plank position, raise up 
into a peak here, into a pike, and lower down, controlled, nice and controlled, and press from the floor, from the hands. Feel that work in your shoulders here. You should feel the work in your shoulders while keeping your core nice and stabilized. This is an alternative to a shoulder press if you don't have any resistance available to you. Five more seconds of work here. Push it out, let's push it out. And time. 20 seconds of rest here, and we'll go into a Bulgarian squat. Okay, five seconds here. Let's get ready. Two, one. All right, let's work here. 40 seconds of work into a Bulgarian squat. Let's lower at the hips. Absorb that weight from your glutes and through your quad. And extend back up to the top. 20 seconds of work in. I'm gonna switch legs here. My right foot's back, my left foot's down. Again, lowering through the center of my body, keeping my chest and my head nice and forward in a neutral position here. If you wanted to add weight, if you wanted to add dumbbells or resistance and time, this would be a great alternative right here, holding the weight by your side and lowering down nice and controlled. All right, 10 seconds of rest. And we'll go into a high plank for our fourth and final exercise here. Two, one, let's get down, 40 seconds of work. Last set, last round. Let's finish strong here. Again, my hands are about shoulder width apart. My feet are close together, almost touching here. We're keeping our shoulder blades contracted, our neck, our spine, all the way back to our tailbone and our ankles are nice and in a relatively straight line. Core is contracted, navel squeezed in. All right, almost there. Five more seconds here. Keep squeezing. There we go. And time. Great work. Awesome work, awesome. I know this exercise was not easy. We had a lot of isolation here between the air squat, isolating our quads to the calf raise, adding in that pike push-up with core stability and pushing out through our shoulders, really feeling that push press there. Bulgarian squat, again, absorbing a lot of our weight on our quad and our glutes. They should be fired up and nice and activated. And the side plank, we should really feeling, really be feeling our core being torched here. <laughs> Excellent. How are you feeling, Sergeant Barry? How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing great. That was another amazing workout. Thank you, Roy. And I also appreciate your message to remind us to take care of ourselves. Sometimes I reflect and I'm just so grateful that I'm healthy. So it's it's good to, to keep that up and, and to work out and take good care of ourselves. So thank you for that. Yes, ma'am, absolutely. They say, you know, taking time for yourself is just as important as making time or, or taking the time for others. So if you can take time to serve yourself, to bring yourself back into your health and your well-being, then we'll be stronger for that in the long run. <laughs> and and a note to that as well. Yes, ma'am. A note to that as well. You know, if, if anyone's looking and they're working out and they're working out constantly, focus on your recovery just as much as you are your fitness as well. Recovery is just as important as pushing weight around. So you want to take care of your body in the same state of health here and wellness. Take care of your body, whether it's foam rolling, uh, make sure and stay hydrated throughout your workouts. I, again, just as important and it will leave you stronger in the end and ready to tackle these workouts that you're putting yourself through. I have to say that I'm really feeling motivated to start doing these workouts along with you guys. <laughs> I'll see if I can read the comments and keep up with that and work out at the same yeah. time. 
<laughs> definitely a challenge. I know if, if it was challenging enough to work out, you know, to, to, to include all of those things, it's just, it's just next level. <laughs> okay, you guys, thanks everybody for watching the BeFit Live. Uh, if you weren't able to catch it all, or you want to go back later and rewatch and do the workout along with them, it will be available on our Facebook page. Thanks, Roy. Thanks, Sergeant Barry. Very honored to have you guys on and we will see you next Monday. Bye. All right. Thank you so Bye. much. Thank, Leah. You, Thank Leah. you everyone for watching. <laughs>